got the little brown in, so. <laughs> yeah. <Whoa>. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be fine. I'm going to Yeah. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Wild, Wild Urban Adventures. Today I'm out in Port Washington for the salmon run. I'm actually here with my old buddy, also another YouTuber, Fishtails. Say hi Justin. How's it going? Tight lines? Oh yeah. Hopefully we get some uh, fish today. A lot of people are here today. All right, let's go catch some fish. Yep, I'll hear fishing with the legend too. Fish tails. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you haven't. Someday, someday I'll catch a big fish, maybe break a record. I'll become a legend. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed to Fishtails yet, I'll link the description down below. So make sure you go and subscribe to his channel too. Do it. Do oh, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Won't be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, Justin and I, yeah, we've been fishing for a long time together, so yeah, we got a lot of a lot of good fishing stories to tell. So Want yeah. advice? I have. Sharpen your hooks. Yep, Sharpen that's, your hooks. It's good advice. Yep. Then if you get a bite, you'll actually hook it. Right. So, <laughs> advice for the day. That's my top tip. All right. That's from the legend. <laughs> What is it? There it is. Oh, a little stillhead? Brown trout or... Whoa. Trout. <laughs> it's dinner now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks like a brown. Yeah, a little brown. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. Yeah, a little brown. Oh. Yeah, just jigging that. Uh, okay. It could be real small browns, but yeah, just jigging that little cast master off the bottom and he hit. Thought Sweet. it was a, a little alewife or a sculpin at first, but then he fought a little harder and a little harder and got the uh, nice got the little brown in so <laughs> yeah <Whoa>. oh oh <laughs> <laughs> he'll be fine I'm going yeah <laughs> nice little brown little cast master and there he is all right let's let him go <laughs> okay, here we go. It'll be fine. Ready, set, go. Uh-oh. Did he hook up to your bobber? my line for a second. No, yeah. Oh, man, this is... Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just clean it up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> They're probably they're probably down there. Just they're just probably just. Well, they could be just loaded with the bait that's already yeah, uh -huh. in there. Um, one thing I will try just because when I'm at the um, Oak Creek, mm -hmm. the best thing. I mean, this works, but like for me, I've had the most success putting on and just in that current discharge okay. like this, putting on the the heaviest three eighth ounce that I have. This okay. Guy. Um, I put the. By the way, I also put um, uh, glow-in-the-dark powder mm -hmm. that I got from on eBay that um, that it just you know charges in the daylight. Oh yeah, and okay. When you get it down in the water, it has a really nice glow to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good uh, long-lasting one, and I put it on some of my jigging spoons too, because some okay. of the stuff you buy for trolling spoons glows pretty well, but sometimes right. it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So I've had some. 
some luck on that as well. Okay. But anyway, I'll put the. I'll show you what I do here. This might be a. This might be a viral video for you on Wild Urban Adventures. Right. <laughs> I got my 3 8 ounce jig, but uh, the one that has the glow in the dark will win. Get one of these big boy swim baits. Put that on. And then squeeze that juice in between. Haul these fish up from wherever they're hiding. And that does stink. Ooh. Yeah, it does. It stays on your fingers, too. Oh, yes. I, yeah. You really got to mm -hmm. work it off. Yeah. I mean, it's Stop. okay if you kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll show you what I do. Come on over. All right. Getting some good tips from fishtails. Yeah. Let's see if we can get one. Film. The tricky thing is I'd want to cast up. Mm -hmm. And just work it down and twitch it as it's coming. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Coming okay. Those, they'll hit it, but you know, right now you can't really, mm -hmm. without yeah. snagging into them. That's a tricky one. I, I'll be able to get out maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. Go that way. We'll see what happens. Drag set just right here. I think so. I think we're good. Sink that thing down. Give it like 10 seconds. All the way to the bottom. Just kind of reeling up the slack right now. Up oh, there, hit the bottom. Just twitch. Reel. Twitch. I don't have a lot of area to work. Once I get into this current, it's going to go so fast. Mm -hmm. it. Right. As you guys can see, it's a pretty fast current in here. There's a discharge all the way over there from the power plant. And it's coming straight this way. They can work the area pretty well, just like 20 feet out and beyond. And at that point, it's kind of over. <coughs> until I feel that thump hits the bottom. And I'll start working it in. So what fish tails is doing, since there's a lot of current right here, if you cast your bait in there, it's gonna push up through real quick. So he's passing it, casting it over past the current, let it sink to the bottom. And they kind of bottom bounce in it a little bit as as it's slowly drifting down until it gets back to the fast current water then and, and I recommend using a Shimano sustain nothing or Stella nothing mm -hmm. less than that you need to go with one of those two right <laughs> no Walmart reels and um, this is a this is a, a St. Croix legend rod I would go with that too oh yeah Synchro Legend. <laughs> Not a bad way to go right Not there. Not a bad combo. <laughs> Alright guys, I didn't catch anything today but uh, but Justin and I, he actually caught a small brown today so I was going for fishtails. So one point for Justin and uh, zero point for me but that's right though, I came out here for the fun of it. Again we're at Port Washington right now. A lot of people out here, out here today getting ready to head home so All right Justin any uh good words for the yeah actually, I have advice when you think you're all packed up and you realize one of your rods still in the water oh, still in the water right you better, <laughs> you better reel it in before you start walking <laughs> so that's my uh, second tip for the day all right and if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, hit the like button and uh, I'll link uh, fishtails uh, YouTube channel down below and uh, make sure you go subscribe to him too All right, peace out, guys.
Hey guys, we're at the Root River Steelhead Facility down here in Racine, Wisconsin. And this is a very, very cool looking uh, fish hatchery. This is where they take all the eggs from the salmon and the steelhead during their respective runs. And they process the eggs for the future of uh, tomorrow's steelhead and salmon fishing. This is a very, very cool place to visit if you ever if you guys ever get a chance to come down here get a view of the whole area again this is the Root River Steelhead facility located in Racine, Wisconsin they are processing these fish again on uh, October 5th which is on Monday and and you can actually see them working here all the DNR staff It's a really cool place to visit. You can see this tube right here. I think this is a tube where they release the fish after they're done processing and it goes right back into the river. You can see all the salmon down in here. Let's give a quick pan around the area. The fish refuge starts, I believe, over here, and then it comes all the way this way, just above the dam right here, or the weir, and the fish refuge stops over there. So anywhere around this area is uh, the well, uh, fish refuge, and then everything else is game for fly fishing for these salmon or steelhead, or even regular fishing. Fish guys, all oh, these chinook salmon. All oh, these chinook salmon just trying to get get upstream to do that spawning run. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Oh my god, Yeah, they want to get out. <laughs> oh yeah, next processing day tomorrow, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, they, they captured 422 Chinook salmon. This was uh, as of 921. So they released 261 of them. 174 where they took the eggs out. And the biggest fish was 30 pounds. Thank mm -hmm. you.